What is Web 3.0? To understand Web 3.0, we need to go back to understand the history of the web. In this video, I will use the term web and internet interchangeably. Disclaimer, there's no established literature or exact certification of the timeline discussed below, but generally, when we discuss the history of the web, we divided it into three phases. Let's begin with Web 1.0. To access Web 1.0, you would use personalized computers, or PC, which Microsoft was absolutely dominating. Many people also think of this period as the PC era. When you access the internet in its early days, it was static, contents was on the service file system, and user could only consume the contents online. This is the read-only version of the internet. Web 1.0 is company-focused and information-driven. The technology that drove Web 1.0 were file and web servers. In Web 1.0, many businesses try to get online and publish their information. Because of such a huge amount of information started to appear online, key trends and key companies of this era were search engines like Google and Yahoo, browser products such as Netscape Navigator and Microsoft's Internet Explorer, we also saw the more interactive version of the internet started to emerge with online marketplaces like eBay and Amazon, email and chat services like Yahoo and Hotmail. So what about Web 2.0, which is the version of the web that all of us are using right now? In Web 2.0, a new medium to access the internet was created. is smartphones. In this space, Apple has been dominating. People also prefer to this period as the mobile era. When you access the internet now, the internet is highly interactive, the content can be stored on the cloud, and users can generate their own content. This is the read and write version of the internet. Web 2.0 is community focused and social driven. The technology used to power Web 2.0 are Ajax and JavaScript. In Web 2.0, many key trends and companies emerge like social media with Facebook and Twitter, two side gig marketplaces like Airbnb and Uber, cloud services like Amazon Web Service and Microsoft Azure. Trends like artificial intelligence and machine learning are dominated by Facebook, Google, and Amazon because these big tech companies have big data, meaning they have a lot of high quality user data to work with. Now to Web 3.0. The reality is no one fully knows what this version of the web will look like, but there are some common expectations. The main expectation is its focus. People are anticipating Web 3.0 to be individual focused and decentralized driven, meaning that everyone can have ownership of everything they do online. So people are speculating that with this version of the web, you can read, write, and own it. To access Web 3.0, expectations are that any digital device can be used to access Web 3.0 in the so-called Internet of Things. In addition, virtual reality and augmented reality tools are being developed so we could pseudo live our lives in Web 3.0. The current biggest technology empowering Web 3.0 so far is blockchain. Key technologies and companies in Web 3.0 so far are cryptocurrencies, companies like Coinbase, Bifinance. Within crypto itself, we see trends in decentralized finance and non-fungible tokens. Metaverse-related tech companies like Facebook or Meta, companies that make IoT products like Facebook, Apple, Google, and Microsoft. And that's Monkey Go for today. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video.